Hey Soup, welcome back, it's Claytano, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ruin Tessarian, the Fire Ifrit. And um, for those of you that are new to the channel, what I do in this series is go over the basic monster, how it's ruined, how I think you should be ruining for early game and late game, as well as their pros, their cons, what they're useful for, um, what team combinations they go well with, their sub-step priorities for the runes, and then at the very end, I'll go over their alternatives and their final rating out of five. Um, so just to get right into it here, the main things that Tessarian is useful for, and like the areas of game that he is useful for, is for raids, guild war offense, I would say primarily guild war defense occasionally, um, but guild war offense mainly and also early game arena offense as well. Again, as I've said in previous How to Rune videos, any single target nuker or style monster could be good for arena offense early game, but late game you do want to switch into more of arena or, or area of effect arena type monsters as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, what does Tessarian offer? Tessarian offers 41% resistance leader skill, that's the main thing. Um, that's why that's why he's useful in raids. S specifically, that's why he's useful in raids. Um, he also offers a single target defense break. Oblivion, which is a super rare skill to have. Um, only two monsters in the game right now have it, I believe, unless I'm missing somebody else. And he also offers dots, which is great. So what are his pros? Again, He's got Oblivion. That's one of his great pros, is that no other monster uh, besides Isis and him have Oblivion that I know of. Second, he has a defense break. Anytime you have a defense break, that's a pro. Um, his third pro is he does damage according to speed, which means that you can actually build him tanky with a lot of speed and still do damage, so you don't have to worry about building him really nuking as far as like a nuker, but you can still build him as a nuke and do more damage on top of that. Um, same thing with like all the other efforts as well, kind of. Uh, his fourth pro is that he has a useful leader skill. It's a 41% resistance leader skill. You can use him anywhere in the game if you ever felt like you needed more resistance. That's why he's mainly used in raids. Um, his fifth pro is that he awakens into accuracy. So all of these different debuffs that he's trying to be landing on you as far as Oblivion, the dots, and the defense break, he's going to have some boosted accuracy along with it as well. As you can see here, that's 25% increased. Here's his 41% resistance leader skill, the oblivion, and a lot of people forget that he also does damage based on enemies with more harmful effects. So it's kind of like Brandia that we talked about yesterday. Um, and then here's his dots and his defense break as well. So what what's bad about him though? What are his cons? His main con is that he's single target. Again, single target monsters, for nukes or you know even tanks especially it's it's not as powerful as AoE monsters it doesn't bring you as much utility as an AoE monster would um, also another con is that he's overshadowed at, overshadowed by Theomars in Guild Wars um, you know if you're looking to use Cesarian for Guild Wars primarily and you think that the Oblivion is going to be you know really really important most of the time, I would say Theo Myers is still a better option unless you absolutely have to have the Oblivion. That's the only other thing. But really, you know, is it gonna is it gonna help you against possibly a Perna, possibly another Theo Mars, possibly um, like a Joltan or something like that? Maybe. But at the same time, the other two monsters that were probably with them don't need Oblivion, so you could just use Theo Mars. So those are the only couple cons about him, I would say. Uh, for early game runes, I would build him Swift or Fatal for his nuking type skills because he's he can be, he can be built two ways, I would say. He can be built nuke and he can be built tank. So the first one I'm going to be going over is nuke. Um, he can be built Swift or Fatal to kind of you know increase the attack power or increase the speed so that way the scaling off the first skill is heightened. Um, You'll also have the offset, I would probably say Blade. You could throw maybe some focus on there as well, but mostly Blade. Um, speed slot 2, crit rate or crit damage slot 4, and then attack percent slot 6. Um, for tanking, you would want to have your main set be Swift. Again, this is for early game, so main swift, 
mainset be swift, you can have the offset be either energy, focus, guard, or even blade as well still to scale off that um, damage based on your speed. Again, two slot speed, and then four slot being HP percent, and your six slot being HP percent as well. Um, late game, you do want to switch it over to more of like a violent type build. You, you know, Swift is still viable, but violent is still better than Swift. Um, for nuking, you want to go with, I would say either Will or Revenge, and I would only build Swift if you're if you're going with a a nuke build as well. Um, but offset being Will or Revenge. Your two slot is speed still. Your four slot is crit rate or crit damage. Your six slot is attack percent. Same thing, right? Uh, for tanking, late game, you still want to go into violent, only violent. Um, you know, if you build a swift tank to Saria and it's so lackluster, I would say don't do, do that. Just build violent if you're going tank. Um, especially for raiding, do violent. Your offset again, revenge primarily on this one over will. Um, and then two slot speed, four slot HP, six slot, six slot HP percent as well. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. For the nuke subset priorities though, you wanna be focusing on your speed, try to get that at least over 100 speed. Um, if you go crit rate on slot four, then get some crit damage subs. If you go crit damage slot four, get some crit rate subs. And then go into attack percent as after that, and then crit damage um, or, or accuracy after that, or whatever one you didn't focus on the first time. And then your tank substat priorities, I would say speed, still priority, at least over 100. If you can do more, do more. Um, HP would be your second, defense, third, accuracy, fourth, crit rate, fifth, okay? Crit rate, still always gonna be a great option. You wanna do more damage as a tank. You, you have the ability to do so with Tassari, and that's why he's pretty valuable in my opinion. Uh, team combinations. Mainly, if you're going to be using him for raid, you can um, pair him up with a Darian. You don't need to pair him up with a Diaz because you don't need the resistance from Diaz, so Darian would probably be a better option. Um, but the fact that Diaz has a HP block slot, you know, first skill, it might kind of counter set where Dar Darian only has um, has a defense break slot or defense break skill one that Tessarian already has on his two, on his second skill. So. You know, kind of where are your options there. If you don't have Diaz, just do Darian. Um, if you're building him backline, then I would build him as a nuke or a tank works as well, but mainly a nuke. Just have at least over 20,000 HP if you're going to be building him for backline raids. Um, he can go with Colleen, Kona, Lisa, Hua, whatever you guys want. I mean, it's pretty basic for a raid. For Guild War, it's still kind of the same thing. It's just Orion or Chaseun. That's about it. There's other monsters that you could throw in there with them, but mainly those are the ones that you're going to want. Because Orion has so many debuffs with his skill that it's going to scale off of Orion, uh, Tessarian's passive for having Orion's, you know, all those harmful effects, those three harmful effects that Orion does. Um, so I think that would be, you know, a good combination. Plus you pair it with Chaseun, that's going to put possibly another harmful effect and then also boost your attack power at the same time, which is great. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, and also they're not too hard monsters to get, so that's always a good thing. And some alternatives. Again, I just talked yesterday about Brandia being a, an alternative for Tessari, and they, they kind of are alternatives since they do damage and are kind of tanky as well. Are they the you know, is, is it the most absolute alternative where they're just completely interchangeable? I would say no, but, you know, it, it kind of gives you the same idea. It's a fire monster as well. Um, if you're looking for another resistance leader, there's really not too many others that have a 41% resistance leader. So, you know, I would say this, this, is, this is the best free-to-play one that you can possibly find for raids specifically other than I say Diaz, but Diaz I guess isn't free to play anymore since the HOH is over. Um, you can also switch him out for Theo Mars as a nuker, um, like we talked about earlier, and then Isis for the other Oblivion if you absolutely need it, but who has Isis? That's the light uh, fire desert queen, which nobody has. Like I haven't seen, I've only seen one person with that and that's it. Um, but anyways, my overall rating here at the very end for Tessarian, I think he's a pretty useful monster so I'm gonna give him a 3.5 out of 5 I think he's great in raids and he can also be used in dungeons as well so you know not a bad monster um, you know he's 
free to play farmable as well so for those of you that have them that's awesome uh, if you do want to see this up on a website the website that these will be posted on probably in the next couple weeks would be summers war sky arena dot info that's a great website you guys can see a lot of good information about monsters it's not just like the wiki where there's just the information it's actually built guides and in articles about every single monster in the game eventually is what we're working on um, where you can see just you know kind of word for word exactly what we're thinking um, so it's a great source if you're just trying to read something at work um, other than that guys if this helped you as always please comment like and subscribe um, because it definitely helps me out and stay soupy guys don't be potatoes and i will be doing i forgot to say i'm doing okanos tomorrow so stay tuned for that i appreciate you guys i'm going through the list and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks so much bye, -bye.